Good morning, Cornerstone kiddos. Boy, have I missed seeing you guys. I am so excited to bring a kid's lesson to you today. And this weekend is kind of a special weekend. There's a holiday that we're celebrating and some of you might um, have even had off of school on Friday or you for sure have off of school tomorrow on Monday. Does anybody know what holiday we're celebrating this weekend? It is called Labor Day. Now, a lot of times people really like Labor Day weekend because you get to spend a lot of time relaxing and hanging out with your families and maybe you like have a picnic or you go out by the lake or maybe you just hang low and hang out at home for an extra long weekend or are just excited to be away from school, right? But do you guys know what Labor Day is remembering and recognizing? Well, labor means to work. And Labor Day was started over 100 years ago, I believe, um, where the workers came together and they wanted to celebrate all of their hard work and take a day off and rest to celebrate all of the hard work that they were doing. Well, did you know that we were created to do work and work is a very good thing? Now, some of you might say, oh, I don't like to do work. I don't like to do chores or to move things around. I don't like to sweat or get dirty. But God created us to do work. When he created the world, he created humans. And then he said, we are in charge of taking care of the earth. That means we have to work to make things grow from the ground and to build things and to create things because we were made in the image of God, who is the perfect creator. Now, do you know what God's most special handiwork or creation is? It's you. It's me. It's humans. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians, for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. So the best work that we can do is the stuff that God prepared for us in Christ Jesus. And what do we do through Christ Jesus? Well, the Bible tells us that God sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins to show us how much he loves us. So the Bible tells us our first job is to love God with all of our hearts and then to love our neighbors as ourselves. So when we're doing work, I want you to think about what are some ways that we can work to love our neighbors, to love God and love other people. Maybe it's by helping a friend. Maybe it's by um, cooking or baking something to bring to a neighbor. Maybe it's by helping a neighbor shovel or rake their leaves or do some other sort of chore. There are so many ways that we can love people and do work that God created us to do. But like we said, God is the number one creator and he created the entire world for us to enjoy because he loves us so much. The book of Psalms tells us that the heavens declare the glory of God and the expanse proclaims the work of his hands. God does not need to take a break like we do on Labor Day weekend because he is perfect. He created everything and he did that for us to enjoy. So while we're taking a break this weekend for Labor Day weekend, we can enjoy God's beautiful creation and then we can be thinking about how we can be working to love and serve other people so that they can see God's glory as well. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for being the best creator and for creating the world for us to enjoy. We thank you, God, that we are your special creator, creation, who you created to do good works, to love other people, to serve other people, um, and just to show your glory in what we do. We thank you, God, for the opportunities that we have to rest and to enjoy your creation. And we ask that you would fill us with your spirit to help us to love one another. In your name we pray. Amen.